Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. In today's video, we'll learn about Flyway utility. This utility helps us in doing version-based database batch migration. Now, in, we have often seen that in our work, it's very difficult to manage patches for database. Usually either the companies create their own patching system or usually they purchase the third party. Now, the Flyway utility is an open source utility which help you in doing that. So let us dig into that. So the Flyway is an open source database migration utility, which is a command line utility. Second, there is no installation required. It just needs Java runtime uh, you can, and that will be usually all the system will be having it. And the feature which it gives you, first of all, the patch migration, you can migrate the patches. The patches can have a serial order uh, one after the other. And then there is a version control, like whether the patch applied in your system is different from the pa actual patch into the server or not. And then the target version migration. Now suppose you want to create a database from scratch till version four. So then you can have a target based version migration also. And then there is a patching time estimate. Now it is an offered exercise. We don't, we are unable to predict how much time the patches will take on the production. So what you can have is you have like similar environment or you can do a, the development environment patch at production level size database. And you, with this patching tool do contain the time estimated like what it has taken for uh, you can say applying patches so with that you will be aware of how much time it will gonna take okay so we'll try it and the, the okay let's just go through the list of the product it supports it support oracle sql server postgre db2 mysql aurora mariadb redshift sqlite and most of it support most of the good rdbma softwares so you can use this utility with almost all the softwares so in today's example I will be covering one SQL server, second with the Postgre. Okay, so let's jump into the demo first, and then we'll go through the other theory part of it. So you have to go to the website in the Flyway website. Here you have to go on this download and pricing. Click on the environment like Windows, Mac, or whatever you want to go with, and then you can download which is the official version. Now official version is 5.2.4 as of now, but there is a better version 6.0. If you are using Postgre 11, you use this. You should use this version because uh, clean command doesn't work in these one. So we'll be going through the clean command, what it is in the demo. Now, once you download, it will download a zip file like this, and the moment you extract it, it will be like this folder. Like this is the folder structure. Now, in the config file, you will have a default configuration called flyway.cunf which is a default configuration which will look certain like this this one so it's a big mess uh, code but you don't have to worry about it this is just for reference so like suppose you need a postgre you can use this connection string so here you will just change your host and the port and the database name similarly for the oracle is the same host port and the service and sql so it's host port and database name so the kind of you will get the uh, you can see your connection string there the only thing you need is these three lines flyway.url and the url which is a driver which is coming from the sample so this is uh, completely you will copy paste from here you can use and then modify it so this is for sql server and this is the username and password and then this second configuration is for postgre username and password the same way we have the connection string separate for the postgre which is localhost and 45432 is the default port and this is my database my sample database okay so what i will do is let me just key, make a simple database so i have these patches one is which will create a table second will insert some data and third will create a view okay okay let's uh, go into okay so we have seen this config file structure so you can have multiple configs now suppose you are working on the local environment for your development and the moment you want to migrate the same thing on the production you can do well, not on the production on you can see in the branch and all you can try doing this one like you can use different multiple patch files and then you have the sql folder in sql folder you have to place your all script okay the main thing about this folder structure is you have to maintain the naming conventions now your pass start with v capital v and followed by a number you can give any number it can be double zero double two anything whatever number you want to give this number will help you in execution uh, like serial execution of the patches and the patch name so it's like v a number double underscore and the patch name so it's a double underscore not a single underscore so you have to give double underscores and the patch name dot sql same way other one and here if you see this patch it start with r 
R double underscore. Now R denotes a repeatable patch. Now in your database, there could be patches like views and stored procedure, which we always try to drop and recreate. So if my this patch is applied, I cannot reapply the patch because it was, the table is already there. This will throw me an error. And if this is all already applied, if it's contain a primary key, I can reinsert it. Otherwise, it will result into duplication if there is no primary key. But when it comes to view, I want to drop it and recreate every time because I, my view can have the modifications. So it's not something which I patch. So it's a repeatable patch. Okay. So now as everything is done, so I have placed my SQL file into this folder. I have placed my config file into this folder and other things are already there. So as I have to patch my post, grid, let us take first post. Grid, okay. So I will take this command. Now the command is very simple. First, you have to open CMD in this folder. Let's just open CMD. Very simple. Let me just close the previous one. Once I have done that, I will run this command. So what this command says, flyway. It will run this batch file. Then the config file name. Config file name is uh, by default, it will use this file. As in my example, this file contains data. You can say a connection for SQL server, not for Postgre. So I am just first covering Postgre. So in this example, what I'm doing is I'm saying flyway hyphen config files and the config file name config postgre dot cunf and then the command command is migrate automatically it will apply all the patches to my database. So let me just press enter. It will take a while. It says successfully apply all the three patches. Now if I change my command from migrate to info. So I can see my all patches are applied and by default the category is these two are version so it cannot reapply again but this one is repeatable now repeatable in the sense let me just go take you to this view so as of now this view contains only one column let us check in our post gray also just a second let me just show you so this is my post gray if i refresh my views so i have already got a view and i re Passed it. So there are two tables for patching. One is the table which came from the patch, and the second by default flyway use it for own history. Okay. So let me just say select star from flyway underscore schema underscore history. So if I run this command, I will get this information. In this uh, table, what by default flyway keep the version number. The file name, um, actual file name is here. So it's kind of the patch name and the type SQL, which type it is. And then the checksum. Now checksum helps you in validating whether your version on your local and the server is the same or not. That will verify now. And then which was the user who uh, you can say created it. If you give multiple like different username and password. So their username password will be updated. And then what is the execution night? Now execution time will help you in giving an estimate how much time your patch will take on the production or something like that. So everything is kind of maintained here. Now if I run my view, it has two columns. Wait a second. Let us just verify. I do have a two columns. Let me just open my view definition. I think so I will open my view definition. Okay, second, something is troubling. Give me a second. Let me just verify. Okay, sorry. So now as my view contained these two columns, so the output of my view was two columns. Select star I did. Let me just close it. So now what I will do is I will modify my view and remove the second column and we'll keep only one. So as this is a repeatable patch and I re-migrate everything, what will happen is other patches it will not touch, but reapplied migration it will be again. So a repeatable migration of this uh, my sample view is done again. So now if I check my info, it tells me this repeatable patch was superseded again and this was the latest patch. Now if I rerun my query and see how many columns my view has it has one so the concept of repeatable patches is you can verify whether your patch is repeatable or not 
you can say like uh, you can rerun the patch again and again every time the migration happen it will drop and recreate it so the statement for dropping you need to add so in my case i added like drop if it exists and so and so thing okay now suppose you want to you can say remove your patch uh, all the patches you want to clean your database so there is a command called clean so if you clean and go to the database and refresh so there will be nothing so everything will be empty so as everything is empty now if i reapply i just need to say migrate and it will automatically apply all the patches and if i rerun my all the patches and the tables will be back into the database so here you can see it's very simple it's not very complicated it's literally very simple and it's a good tool like you should be doing a migration through this tool now coming to the version based migration now let me just clean it again okay and if i have to migrate it again i will say hyphen target equal to one press enter so what will happen is only two patches will be applied which one if i go and check my info version one is applied and version uh, you can say repeatable patch is applied but this two is not applied because it was above the target getting a point because we said only target is one so till one it should apply now if i have to apply till target two i can say two as i have only two so it will apply everything so if i go info wait a second let's say target two and migrate sorry in not migrate just checking info if i do it now it has applied 002 also here you can see 002 is also applied now if i run my info it will give me all the patches are successfully applied so you can see like how easy it is to do a migration now this was for the post grid let us take example of sql server so in sql server by default my connection string is uh, it will pick the flyway.config which is there so i didn't need to mention my connection file name but i need to replace uh, you can say rename this folder so because the patch folder should have oh sorry wait a second let's see so patch folder should be the same name sql we can change that also but as of now let's keep it that way because otherwise the we will complicate the configurations in that sense so now these patches are related to my sql server it's the same thing i will be creating a table and doing so and so things so what i will do is oh sorry uh, let me just connect my local so here if you see in the connection file for my sql server it's pretty much same wait a second so so this is my connection file i have just nothing this is the sql connection string my database name is flyway sample and the username and password so in my this database list you will have flyway sample is there any already tables applied no there is no table applied so i will use the same set of command okay for migrating just i don't need to use connection find or i can give that flyway dot cuna file if i say flyway config by default it goes to the default configuration and it will apply all the patches now if i again do flyway info i will be able to see whether my patch is applied or not as it is applied and okay uh, let me just give you one more example related to validation as i told you we have to like it validates the you can say whether the patch applied is right or not and how it validates is it validates through the checksum column as i showed you it adds a checksum column into the table to give it give me a minute it will take us while so ha here you see there is a checksum column what it do is it calculates the checksum for that file so it's very difficult to have two files having the same checksum if the content is different so if i modify the sql file let us do one thing i will just modify my sql file and see what happens i will go here run i will say select one semicolon and i say migrate let's say migrate now what we'll do is it will give there is a validation field so how we can validate so there is a flyway validate command also validate we don't need to run the migrate so it will tell us there is a validation issue 
Now, how to resolve it? First of all, to resolve, you have to do manually. So we have to apply this part of the patch manually. Once this is applied, what we'll do is, uh, let, let us keep this one as a latest one. So what we'll do is, we'll run a command called flyway repair. So what repair will do is, it will take now current patch and calculate the checksum and will update the database with that. What will happen is then you will have updated, you can say flyway. Now if I say info, everything will come successfully. And if I say flyway validate, there will be no validation error. So it's very simple. So the commands are very basic. Migrate, clean, info, validate, and repair. So repair in the case, you have to manually fix from your local patch to the server and then uh, repair. So what it will do is it will take the local patch, calculate the checksum, update into a database. Everything is done. So here's a validated successfully. So it's very simple tool. Coming back to the slides. So what it has is these are the basic commands. Though there is one more called undo and baseline. Baseline is the kind like suppose you have 100 patches. You want to all of them baseline at one particular time. You can do that. So I have covered in this example. Then there is undo also undo patch. Uh, it is only available in the you can say the enterprise edition. It's not in the free version. So we cannot use it like in this demo, but enterprise do have. And the basic command which we used was migrate info validate repair clean clean is to remove all the data repair is to uh, you can say repair the validation exceptions validate confirms whether your local patch is same as what you have applied on the server then info info tell what are the patches applied and the migrate migrate is the one which migrate actual data now coming to the naming convention it's very simple the patch should start with v followed by any number then double underscore it's a two underscore it's not a single patch name and dot sql any repeatable patch repeatable patches are like views stored procedures function or something like that for that you need to apply r double underscore name and dot sql why r r gives a repeatable patch double underscore is mandatory in both the patches and any name whatever you want to do so once this is deployed you have this execution time column you can use it for estimation also i hope this demo is very short and simple i may be a little bit fast but if you have any question you can ping me uh, on my email id that's yogesh.mahalaya.gmail.com you can contact me on whatsapp also so if you have any question please feel free to reach these are my website uh, i hope you get the, the information okay stay healthy keep learning bye bye